Hello guys, welcome to Sim UK. Today we're going to be doing some bus sim. I'm not live streaming today because the release of the Mercedes Citaro is on the 25th, which is in a couple of days' time. So on Wednesday, which is what I believe to be the 25th, I plan on doing a stream. So if you want to have a look at the DLC before you buy it, then uh, please come back on Wednesday and check that out with me. And we'll effectively just take it on a couple of routes, um, just drive around, have a look at the bus, check it out inside out, I'll tell you how it feels, how it drives, whether it sounds any better. You'll be able to tell that yourself because it'll be a live stream. So yeah, basically, that's what's going to happen on Wednesday. So for today, I'm just going to complete these objectives hopefully he says i've created the route in the last i think i did it in the live stream that i did last week pretty sure i did that i'm going to change the name or number of it if i can find it what the heck so i'm going to change this route number to w15 as per request from djf and there we have W15. So today, guys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this route today, the W15. The wobble, yeah, 15. Okay, so W15, guys, that's what we're going to run today. And um, just try and tick off these objectives and move into the next one. Okay, so I guess I should just crack on then. We need to drive this route and get five stars. So let's do W15 and let's pick our old favourite. Do 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 Alrighty guys And our beautiful big green bus today Let's get the I've got to say, one thing I do really like about Bus M16 is the right click. Clicking the right button gives you the mouse control. I think that works really well. Quite impressed with that, actually. Let's crack on. <clears throat> so it's important that I get five stars today in order to complete that task. So we can't be having any accidents or any speeding tickets or anything like that. Or miss any passengers for that matter. Oh. I seem to have oversensitive <clears throat> ramp. Senior Weekly 26. Thank you very much. This is going to be a long route, isn't it? I just realised how long this is going to take. So this could be quite a long video today. Lots of opportunities for someone to walk out in front of me. Or for me to take a wrong turning or something to go wrong. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a bit of a dry throat this morning for some reason. Yeah, at the end of the day, the Sitaro comes out on Wednesday. Now, we've all had, let's call it a preview. If you, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, there's a, a YouTuber called Taff in Exile. He's, <laughs> he is currently... He's got to be one of my favourite YouTubers right now. Some of the games he plays are just so completely up up my street. It's um it's uncanny, and he seems like a really decent, chilled out, nice guy as well. So um, go check out Taff in Exile, and if you haven't seen 
the uh, Mercedes Citaro yet at all. He was lucky enough to uh, get a look at it. I think somebody at um, Still Alive Studios made a bit of a doo-doo. Too senior. 280, please. Made a bit of a doo-doo and made it available to people before it was supposed to be. 140. Ooh, did I get the one or the two there? Ah, late passenger. Here we go. So yeah, I mean he needs more people like you. He's already driven it. Um, and I call it a preview because that might not be the finished article. That might not be the finished article. It might not have the right audio in for the coach for the bus. I got this weird problem, by the way, that when I'm playing Fern Bus Coach Simulator, I always call them buses, and when I'm playing Bus Sim 16, I always call them coaches. Whoa, straighten up. Come on, view. Do it myself, then. Wait for you to do it. I have an accident. I feel like I need to change gear. Wow, the brakes are super sensitive today. I've, di I've discovered what that is. Um, if I don't open up the Logitech profiler and run the game the via that, uh, then the brakes are super sensitive. Now that's not the worst thing in the world, you might think, but what happens is, after a while, one of the doors is stuck. After a while, what happens is that on one random occasion, the super sensitive brakes will not be super sensitive at all. In fact, they'll be almost non-existent. That's what seems to happen anyway. So at some point today in this run, because it's such a long run, I highly expect for the bus, I nearly called it a coach again, for the bus to uh, not break when I break. So I'll deliberately leave it late because I know how sharp the brakes are. Then when I break, it won't do anything. That's what, that's what keeps happening. And it's my fault for not opening the Logitech profiler, but there you go. Mistakes can happen at any time. And if <laughs> if you're a regular on my channel, you'll know that to be very, very true. Oh wow, this this is a busy route. I should have brought the uh, the bendy after all this. Four forty, please. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Thank goodness for those manual ramps, uh, automatic ramps rather. Manual ramps are a complete pain in the backside. Next stop, Saint Andrew's Church. So no news on update 6 as yet, and I do mean no news, I mean they haven't even bothered to say, don't worry we haven't forgotten about it. Oh gosh. See, super, super duper sensitive brakes, I barely touched that then. So yeah, we don't know what's coming in update 6. Uh, one regular 220 but um, yeah I mean I've contacted them directly they haven't bothered to re they didn't even bother to say sorry you're not important enough to know they didn't say anything I wasn't even important enough to tell that I wasn't important enough that's how unimportant Next I am stop, Village Street East. which is fine I guess <laughs> that's the way they want to be about it that's fine 
I will not be sending them a Christmas card this year. So anyway, um, yeah, still, still hoping and praying for a map editor. That would be superb. I think because it seems to be taking so long, there must be something map related. There, there just must be. Otherwise, what the heck are they doing? Oh, the ramp. Oops. Let's just zoom out this way because I can't see a damn thing. Luckily, we just missed that ambulance because that's exactly the way we're going. Yep, literally, uh, literally going the wrong way. Ah! Okay. Oh, no. I can't go this way because if you look at the map, there's a one way the other way. I need to go backwards. I need to go backwards. Oh, and the crazy, the craziness ensues. Right, sorry, everybody. And I do mean everybody. Oh, wow, okay. That, that could be... I do that a lot. I do do that a lot. That was a bit of craziness right there, wasn't it? Hey, how are you? This is my new number. <laughs> Disaster averted. Talk to you later. As long as I can get to the bus stop on time. So what was I saying? Yeah, there must be... I, I say there must be. I'm hoping there must be something to do with maps. New missions, new characters, new an extension to the existing map, something. There must be something. Otherwise, you know, what have they spent all this time doing? I know they've released the performance enhancing test bed thing, so okay, yeah. Probably something to do with that. People can get better FPS out of the game. But, I suppose for me, my FPS is is okay. It's it's at a standard that I can accept. So that doesn't impress me. But for somebody, some of you guys out there who, who want to play this game and just find it impossible because the FPS is so bad, then okay for you, that probably is a worthwhile, seriously worth worthwhile. Improvement, enhancement. I guess I have to concede that it is possible. But for the rest of us, um, you know, if you've completed all the missions and played all the maps, and I have to say there's quite a lot of missions on here. Some of them take a, a very long time to complete, so it's full of content. Content-wise, this game has never been lacking. Well, in some areas, in terms of missions. In terms of challenges, it's never been lacking. That's another wheelchair user today. Does that mean we got two on board at the same time? I think it'd be the first time ever if we do. Let's have a look. Oh, no. No. I think, I think there's a limit, then, to only having one... There's a limit then of only having one wheelchair user at a time on the bus. I nearly broke into a song uh, about the wheels on the bus then, but suddenly realised that could that could be very offensive to some people, so uh, I <laughs> retracted. I retract that immediately. So 50k down here. Oh, you crazy lady. I tell you what. 
I think possibly for me guys this game might be easier to play like spotting uh, people crossing the road in front of you if I were using a, a bigger screen because I've only got a 24 inch screen I do have three of them but when I'm playing this game I only only have uh, the one 24 inch screen to work with oh wow that I nearly ran that lady over as well oh this is that that broken bit of road where everybody tries to go straight on but looking at this guy on the left he's going left anyway so let's have a go oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no please go away please go away so annoying <laughs> Oh, another wheelchair user. Hang on. We have one on board, don't we? Well, this could uh, totally throw me wrong then. I th Where did she go? Hello. Uh, can you help me with a ticket? Not right now, mate. I'm a bit busy. All right. Okay, I will. Uh, student, one forty. Okay, mate. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Next stop, well, Kings Road West. I don't know what happened there. I am talking a lot, so I'm not necessarily paying attention to who's getting on and who's getting off the bus. But I'm. I, I, I thought there was a wheelchair user on the bus already, and uh, I did. I didn't see her get off. Maybe she did. Maybe she didn't. I don't know. But Kings Road West. We'll leave that for another time. I think I'll need several tickets, please. Four forty, bud. Thank you very much. That's what I said. Oh yeah, no problem. Stop copying me. What are you for? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Uh, left the ramp down. That's what I've done. One thing I will say about the Mercedes Citaro when I watched it on uh, Taff in Exile's video, the the dash looks pretty cool. I mean, it's very similar, very, very similar to what we've got already. I don't think there's anything groundbreaking or overly spectacular, but the dash did look pretty cool. And in this game, that's about the most exciting thing you have, I, I guess. Is different dashes. Okay. Buy a ticket then. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Flipping ambulances. Next stop, Kings Road Bridge. Oops. Indicators still going. You see that proxy sign on the wall there? I've not seen that before. Oh, I thought she was crossing then for a moment. I'm sure she thought about it.
Hello. Two twenty, please. Okay, that's not what you asked for. That's what you wanted. One of those. You too. Go on, go on, go on before the lights change. Yeah. Shrewd, shrewd bus driving there. Keeping things on a tight and timely schedule. Well, we started off quite busy. Uh, it's got a bit quieter since then, I've noticed. A couple of twins. Actually, that's factually and technically incorrect, isn't it? A couple of twins would be four people. Two sets of twins. I should have just said twins. I'm glad I, cl I cleared that up because that would have bugged me <laughs> for ages that I'd said that. I'd have watched this video back and then gone, no, it's not. It's not a pair of twins. Having said that, now I'm going to get into this now. Having said that, um, if you said, can you grab a pair of shoes? You wouldn't come back with four shoes, would you? You'd, grab, you'd only have two shoes. So maybe, I don't know. I'd be interested, <laughs> totally off topic, but I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. <laughs> is it a pair of twins or is it just twins? I mean, they are twins, clearly, but... Grammatically, how should I have said that? A pair of twins or just twins? A pair of shoes or just shoes? Maybe a pair of shoes is wrong. Uh, 220. Is that the ambulance? I can, I can, I can sense it when it's coming, because the the hairs on the back of my neck go up. Horrible bloody thing. The lights are green, dude. Next stop, Birch Street. Whoa! Now I've had some incidents down here. The traffic can get pretty bad. It's just this corner at the end kind of get hemmed in and when you try and pull out nobody will let you so I have unfortunately run a few people over here but I'm sure we'll be fine today I'll have a student single trip ticket. will you now Thank you very much. that's two doors I don't think I'd be all that inclined to drive on this bus if uh, in one single trip the doors failed to close Next more than once. Central Station, Junction Street. See? Somebody crossing here every single time. Every single time you turn right there, somebody crosses the road. I mean, that's got to be in the Update 6, hasn't it? Fixing the pedestrians that cross. Because pedestrians uh, follow the... Oh, crikey, there's too much going on then. Pedestrians follow the traffic lights the same as the cars do. Which means when the lights go green, all the pedestrians cross. You know this, anyway. But hopefully that'll be fixed in Update 6. You see, now, actually, that's, that's, that's made me think about something. Because you've got two effectively you've got three haven't you you've got omzi you've got bus sim 16 and you've got fern bus they're the three main contenders i suppose as an outsider <coughs> excuse me as an outsider you might well include euro truck sim like with their modding yeah. tools and what have you get out of my way get off my land But um, one thing that TML do uh, is listen to the community. So there's been a few occasions where I and presumably other YouTubers have spotted a bug or 
made a suggestion or you know something along those lines and uh, TML will listen consider respond which is great that's exactly what you want um, and it's it's hugely appreciated by me and many others that TML are addressing things like that now if you put the same context into bus sim 16 once once since it was released they said they did ask the community what would you like to see in the next update please let us know here and we'll consider it so everybody did but they don't respond they don't they don't say oh okay so we've looked at all your stuff these are the things we're considering and putting in these are the things that we'd like to do but just can't do you know what I mean there's no communi communication there there's no feedback to suggest that they actually listened it's almost as though they'd already decided what they were going to do and they were just interested to see how many of us wanted the same thing like customer research but in reverse we've already made the decision but we want to know how you feel about it without actually telling you that's what we're doing Christ, he was going a bit fast, wasn't he? Eat pizza all day. Terrible habit. Lovely taste. So, guys. Uh, those of you who have been watching my channel for a while probably know I'm a bit of a chubby chappy, let's say. And uh, <clears throat> this year is the year I get back into shape. So I'm contemplating making some videos, some vlogs. I won't do it on this channel, I'll do it on another channel. But I'm just contemplating that as an option and uh, looking for uh, some support from you guys, possibly. And um, of course, I'll step out. if you're watching those videos, then maybe um, that's an incentive or a further incentive for me to keep doing it, if that makes sense. Now, if you're not, if you're not interested, that's absolutely fine. No problem at all. If you, you yourself are a little bit chubby, got some love handles or what have you, then uh, by all means, get involved. Um, and when I say get involved, I have literally no idea what I mean by that. But this is something I need to do. It's something I want to do. And um, it's, it's going to happen. And the idea of uh, videoing it and making it accessible to you guys, it's not, it's not a money-related thing. I probably won't, I won't even monetize them, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. I do need money. I'm <laughs> very poor. Overweight and extremely poor, that's me. That's an accurate description of my situation right now. But um, it's not really about that, it's about having a record for myself and holding myself accountable to doing it. Because um, if, you've ever, if you've ever had to change something about your, your life, your personality, habits, uh, for example, if you if you smoke too much, or if you smoke, period, actually, um, you might want to give up and quit. Um, and it's brilliant if you want to do that. It's commendable. It's good for your health. It's good for the health of the people around you. Um, but it's not easy. It really isn't easy. And there are these classes and things that you can sign up with, and sometimes that helps people out when you've got you know you can see somebody else going through the same struggles you are and you can talk to them about it and they understand and you know that helps people out sometimes so that's really what it's about is I want to get myself back into shape for numerous reasons um, for my health for my family are probably the two key key reasons but um, 
there are other people out there as well who might be able to draw some inspiration from me and by making the videos it's, it's more uh, it's more of a it's more important that I continue to do it because if there is somebody out there who's like oh thanks for making the videos and so on then I don't want to let them down anyway let's uh, blah, 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 blah. off off track there slightly Hello. Yay! I didn't expect anything else. That's of course you didn't. Take care now, bro. Okay. Deco Dave, you're legendary, as is Baz. Well done, chaps. A very good day. I'm calling from the city administration. My name is Mira Tannhauser. I'm head of the Urban Development and Tourism Department. First of all, congratulations for winning the Bus Company Award. Thank you. many requests for bus routes to different landmarks. It yep. would be ideal if we could establish a round-trip route which connects all the sites of the city. Right. We would like to offer you this contract. Do you accept? No. Did she hang up before I answered? The cheeky, cheeky cow. Anyway, um, just messing about there, guys. That's it from us. And, um... Oh, look, I can get ten grand here just by doing... Just by adding a bus thing next week. Uh, uh, Wednesday. We'll do that on Wednesday, actually. I'll leave that for Wednesday. And we'll have a crack at this on Wednesday. But we'll be doing it with the Mercedes Citaro. So that's pretty much all from me, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you uh, enjoyed this episode. Until next time, take care of yourselves now. And goodbye. <laughs>